everything is recording on my end so we can start with this uh, welcome back I'm Luca again and uh, today I will try to speak a little bit slowly because I speak always too way too quick and what we're gonna see today it's also evening right now so I'm quieter than usually and um, yeah today we are gonna see um, we're gonna make this we're gonna make the Netflix intro. Pretty cool. We're gonna make this with uh, completely with Blender without any other software. It's pretty cool. And of course, pre recording this tutorial, I did my own testing and this it what this is what animation. This is what we came with. So pretty pretty close I think. Bo boom Bo boom nice um, so we put the file in the description under so you can have a look uh, at it anyway we start with the brand new file we delete everything <coughs> and as ver first thing we are going to import a logo a Netflix logo you can find it on um, on the internet we just type Netflix logo or make a screenshot of somewhere I don't know do what you please uh, we press F2 uh, let me activate for that screencast and let me press then F2 with the object selected and we call it reverence and of course by pressing M new collection we put it in the reverence collection because we can uh, then the next step is to create this logo and we could do it by um, for example finding the correct font they used to do it but um, what we're gonna do today instead of losing time and finding this um, we just add a simply plane tab into edit mode one into vertex select select mode we press M and at center so we merge all the vertices in the center and then with this tiny dot we have here first of all we select again the logo <coughs> we go into the object data property and we enable transparency we will make it like transparent so we can actually see what we're doing um, we sec select our point tab to go into edit mode and then E to extrude and then we extrude vertically du -du 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 until there more or less then we extrude on the sidically and then we extrude on this side here and then guess what we're going to extrude on the z-axis because it's vertical and that we know that it's vertical I mean we can see it and we extrude this time on the x-axis <coughs> we do the same for the z again we go back to there and then we extrude again until here and then look at that we have a beautiful beautiful alignment no we have not so let's go up here and enable vertex snapping tool we press G and then a Z that we constrain the movement on the Z axis and by pressing control we can align it with whatever we want and of course we want this top one and now we know it's perfectly aligned X and extrude this one on the E and extrude this one on the X axis and the same thing G X and then control over this so that we know they are perfectly aligned and now we select everything by pressing A and fill and now we have our beautiful first letter um, that we need to uh, to make this beautiful animation so second thing second uh, we are going to do all the letters and it's the same procedure so I will count until three and then I will have all the letters done so it's one two and three and now we have in just three seconds all the letter done and we have each letter on a separate object because that that's how we rock and the next step if we if we look again at the animation we have of course a white background not of course but in this case we have a white background uh, when it's starting and it seems a little bit big netty on the sides so what we're gonna do we're gonna press shift a and add a plane 
R X 90 so we rotate it on the X axis X axis the 90 degree we scale it like a lot and um, and now we have this and this and it's flickering like crazy so we bring it a little bit forward like this and if we go in top view we can see that this is our writings and this is our plane so it's a little bit behind <coughs> so that we are not um, so that we are not uh, flickering anymore anyway it was my usual burp like in every video <coughs> sorry for that and uh, now if we go into wireframe mode we have the letters let me hide actually the reference we don't need it anymore we have the netflix writings and it's pretty cool and we have the background what is missing of course is the camera so by pressing shift a we can add a camera and by pressing ctrl alt zero the camera actually goes in the place where you're looking and so we were looking more or less at the front and so it went more or less at the front we can also see what's the proportions here by relooking at the video we can see for example how big it is it's like um, two times on the top and two times on the bottom more or less and so if we have here we have more or less like one and two times on the top and one and two times on the bottom so i think i think it's fine for that so we save and this is gonna be called netflix intro 4 because guess what i did this tutorial uh, just this is my first time recording the tutorial I, I, I promise this this is the first time <sighs> anyway let me pour a little bit of water so we have the letters we have the background or oh, we can assign a color to the background mm, I would say oh what's going on here I would say the um, nope, uh, the color of the background I think it should be white let's let's rename also this background and let's move it also to the background collection and now we have a nice background in the background collection and we can give it a new material and we can call it background material it's a, just a simply plain white by default uh, the white in blender is never white white so just bring it up to white white and now it's white white so we have we save again and we have the background let's go here in the top right and we select the selectable punct selectable and we select it and then we go into background and we deselect the select selectable items we selected before and now we cannot select it anymore <coughs> and uh, once we do this go into camera view by pressing zero we have nothing we have the netflix uh, writings and the background now if i save and if i go here into render properties and i switch this to cycles and to gpu and then to performance to 2036 those are by the way things i do right away when i save and <coughs> <coughs> if we try to render this thing it's ugly it ugly it uglies in the uggles um, because of course we don't have any light so we can uh, add a new collection for example and call it camera and light and guess what we're gonna put the camera inside and we're gonna add also by selecting the collection shift a we're gonna add a so this is the thing i'm gonna add like for now a sun the particularity of the sun is that um oh it's not rotating proper what oops no no because i'm not seeing let me go oh yeah no the the but the peculiarity of the sunlight is that it casts equal shadows so parallel shadow because it's like an infinite source of light i will show you this in a moment and um let me bring it a, a little bit further of course now if we're gonna into random mode again we see nothing because the sun first of all is like it's not hitting of course our surface because it's like our surface for now it doesn't have thickness so of course and the sun is like straight going down to them and so it's not hitting the surface but if we rotate just slightly the sun like this oh then it's hitting our surface perfectly but i said we see nothing and this is because uh, we don't have any thickness in the letters and as we can remember for the video the letters just pop out and then we can actually see the sun and the lights and the shadows burp number two 
we can see the shadows being cast. So what we can do, let me just select, uh, let me do unselectable also the sun in the camera by deselecting the selectable tools we selected before. And let me take all these uh, letters and just one in particular. And I'm gonna add a solidify modifier and I crank it up Boop. and it's going in the other direction. So we just have to switch the offset from minus one to one. And then since we have all the letters selected and this one yellow is the active one, we press control L and then we copy the modifiers and every letter is, uh, has the same modifiers. Now if we press zero and we go into camera uh, view and press Z and render, now we can see we have shadows popping out. And we can start to set up our scene and see how it looks like the shadow are much, much longer. But um, two things, as we can see from the sun, it makes really, really sharp, um, sharp shadows. And um, here we have like sharp at the beginning and then just falling off. Maybe it could be also like a quality issue, but I didn't think so, but anyway, I didn't care. And two things, so the shadows are not like we can see it's not the same. It's not sharp until the end. It's longer. So three things. It's it's, it's not sharp all the way. It's longer. And um, it's a little bit bluish, isn't it? It's like our oh, super gray. And what we're going to do. So uh, we're going to switch. First of all, we're going to take care of the color. And now our scene is set to have like a gray color in the background. If we crank this up to white, then we have a white color. And then our shadows became lighter but it's not what we want because what we want is to have it a little bit blue so let me just show you what i do usually i take the blue and then instead of going here because here is difficult to control because i could take a little bit lila a little bit lighter blue and i don't know green because i'm stupid but if i select the blue and then i control the saturation here by the way it's in the middle then we can see let me press ctrl b and concentrate just on the shadows a ctrl b you can make a square and you can concentrate just on uh, what you want to concentrate to. And you see, if I bring it up like this, then everything becomes blue. But we can bring a little bit of shadows. I think it's very important that we go shortly into the sun and we bring it like at, let me say five, okay. And let's go back to the world settings, okay. And so now, since the sun is hitting very hard, so it washes out all the colors, except of the shadows. And now we can see we can color a little bit the shadows and the scene in general. Now it feels like this is like, uh, this is like white, and this is bringing a little bit of color. And you can see, and we start to have a similar effect. This is like darker blue, like a blue grayish. So maybe the sun, it's not that strong. So maybe the sun is not that strong because if the sun is super weak, ah no, wait, 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 wait. Not the sun, but maybe the word light, it's not that strong because if we bring it down to zero, then it's like black. And so we can find a nice balance like this. I think like this should be fine. It's a little bit too lila, um, in my opinion. So if you can see here, so instead of moving here, then we would also change the saturation. Uh, then we can move the hue and we can go a little bit towards the, the light blue green and think something like this would work. So I was saying before the um, the sun makes this hard shell. So we, we adjusted the color. Let's see a comparison. That's pretty cool. Uh, we adjusted the color and now we have to adjust the um, the sharpness of the shadows. And to do that, let me, let me duplicate the sun for now. And uh, instead of a sun, if we go here on the lights, we can change it to one of this. Let me make an area lamp and let me hide the sun for now. So now what I have is, let me go show you like this. What I have is an area lamp. An area lamp is like a, like a soft box or like a squared lamp. Uh, the orientation, I think it's fine. It's the same, uh, the sun head. But of course the difference, um, the sun, if we, if we have a look in the sun, and if I render this, it doesn't matter which position we put the sun, the shadows will stay the same because as we said before, it's an infinite light. So the only thing that that um, influences the sun, the shadows and the reflections by the sun is the rotation. Because if I move it with G, nothing happens. But if I rotate it, I rotate it then of course it changes. And it's actually pretty cool. Ba -boom. We can make like a new Netflix entry like, ba -boom. 
could be also pretty cool but anyway uh, this is the sun uh, the area lamp it's first of all too weak because it's 5 watt to make it like 500 and then of course we can see we have a start point so it depends also where we put it and just by moving it of course it changes the shadows the thing is uh, we have to have a close look the shadows seem to be like parallel but they look also that they're getting a little bit wider at the end it could be so what we can do for example let's go let me show it this to by the way with ctrl b we can select what we want to render if you want to undo it you press ctrl alt b and then you undo everything or ctrl b and i usually leave only the camera selected and now we can see we have this uh, not parallelism of the shadows and so if we move the lamp for example on the z-axis and then on the x-axis then we start to have like kind of the same effects we saw in the in the thing now it's too weak of course so maybe we take it up to thousand maybe to ten thousand uh, it looks like this another very useful um, of course this is also influenced by the rotation like the sun uh, and a very useful tip is if you want to point the light in in a particular way or in a particular direction on on a particular object you can by uh, with the light selected if you press shift t then um, the light goes where your cursor is and so we can direct it that we can point it directly there i think it's too close um, to the surface so we can bring it a little bit outside and then shift t again and i point it like this and we can see we, we start to have look at that we start to have kind of similar shadows we had we have in the video look at this pretty close and we have the sharpness at the beginning and uh, it falls out at the end and this is because this is not a sun lamp but it's like an air lamp so it's a physical lamp that it, the light f uh, falls off but the sun is like theoretically too strong and so the shadows doesn't fall but it stays the same because it's super strong um i think i'm talking bullshit because i think we can also just the uh oh did i change both of them to air lamp i oh no wait the sun we can also just for example the angle of it but the thing is that if we're just the angle uh, maybe we could have done the same adjusting the angle yeah but it's 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 more like how the shadows you see we, we kind of could have the same effect but um yeah i think it's anyway better to to do it like this and so okay so we have we are in a very good point <coughs> Oh, did I delete the, the the lamp? That was stupid. Ah, oh yeah, I delete the sun. Uh, we have we are in a very good point. Let me see. Let me see. Like this is like going down and going down. So it doesn't have to be perfect, of course, but it would be nice if it would be like pretty close. So we bring a little bit out, and then maybe a little bit like this, and then even bring it farther away, like this. Maybe it's too much. Mm. I think I could I could I could leave it like this. I think it's fine. I mean it's just a tutorial. And um okay, so we save and now we are in a very good po um, good position because we have the the letters, we have the background, we have the um we have the shadows and the shadow the color of the shadow. Another thing it's possible to notice here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if you can see it in the screen. I hope so. Um, it's that we have a little bit of highlight. Let me make this bigger. Um, we have a little bit of a highlight here on the sides of, let of the letter, um, which we don't have right now. Uh, let me, if I zoom in on, on our letters, I said pop, um, we see that our letters are super sharp, and this is because they are super sharp that's why they're super sharp but if we're gonna add a bevel modifier it's beautiful and we make it like 0 0.07 for example and we add like three segments that it's a little bit smoothed out and we put this to angle uh, then we see we start to catch a little bit of light um, also on the top and that's that's actually pretty cool um, and it's more like this also the 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 white doesn't look to me like too right maybe it's some a little bit grayer 
Oh, it's, it's actually fine. And now we can see, uh, I think I moved something. No? Okay. Um, and now we can start to see that we have the highlights here, but we don't have it on the other letters. But of course, we just have to select these other ones. My phone is vibrating, Control L, and modifiers. And now we have it. Let me see where it's. Ah, cool. And now we just copy fit the modifier, and we can see we have the same modifier also on the other letter. So we save. So now, if we go again into render view, now we have a nice um, situation. We always we also see a little bit of light fall off. It's super slightly um, because we have a light pointing from the side. But um, I'm pretty happy with the result right now. So as I said, we save again because we can never save enough. Um, next step, of course, we have to animate these things. So I did a couple of experiments. Uh, first thing we got to do is to change the uh, FPS. We make not 50, we make 30 FPS here into output properties, uh, 30 FPS. We, when you see this cross here, you bring it up and we are going to uh, bring out the timeline. Timeline and we are going, oh, what's happening here? Oops, see. Oh, nice. And, oh no, it's not this, it's this. Okay, and we are going to, sorry, and we're going to put um, 120 frames because this is uh, more or less the um, the length of the animation. Like I say, no, it is like four seconds. If you can see when it starts, like here is like two, three, four, five. Uh, at the fifth second, it's, it's gone. So it's fine, four is fine. And okay, we save as always. And now we have to make the letter pop out, right? And to make the letter pop out, we can um, play, we could do two things. We could bring the letters, um, switch the positions of the letter, and this could be also a very valuable um, option. But what I would like to do is to, since we have different objects, um, I would like to make keyframes with the play with the solidify. So um, if we have a look on the video, you can see that the letters pop out and then go back. It's like, oh, oopsie. It's like, whoa, ah. You see? Uh, yeah. So they just, huh? And they go back. Um, and so, of course, we have, um, let's start from the end. We go on to frame one. And on frame one, the n is zero. Uh, because, of course, it's, uh, you know, and since we, we brought the letters, as you remember, a little bit behind, if it's zero, and I go into um, rendered, rendered view, then, of course, we cannot see it because we put it behind, so it's not even flickering. 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 And so, um, so here's zero. What we can do, we just press I on the keyboard by hovering over the thickness. And as you can see, it put us a, I don't need O, it puts us a um, keyframe. And um, actually, I think if we look at it again, let me see. It's like the first thing is like, you see the first half second or stuff like that, yeah the first like half second is just white so we just have to bring this let's say we have 30 frames per second and so like one third of a second is 10 frames and so for the first 10 frames it just stays behind and then in about when it's about 19 we bring it like way out like it was before it was like i think 44 was it I'm basing this like 0.5 uh, because of the shadows we had before. You remember? Because if you look like this, we have the shadows. Yeah, exactly. Let's make it like 0.5, and we press again I on the keyboard, and we see we have another another um, keyframe. And now, if we play it, then we see the letter is coming out, right? And of course, once the letter pop out, they have to go back again. Bam! But as we can see from the video, they um, they pop out very quickly and then they slowly go back. Bam. It's like like the like the breathing, like <sighs> wow. Uh, anyway, so like we could go like uh, for example at frame. I don't remember what I did before. It was like forty-eight. Let's say forty-eight, and at forty-eight we. 
output is zero again. And now if we have a look at this, it's like do -dum. and that's pretty cool. As you see, it's like oh that's backwards. It's like do -dum. Okay, it looks pretty cool. And now we have the first letter letter. And now we have to do it from the for the other letters. The thing is that um the letters they don't pop out at the same instant as you can see here. They just oh it's too much. They just oh you know what we can do? Mm, we can go into velocità di reproduzione. We can we can make it uh, point for twenty five. And we can do look at it in slow mo. And it's bam bam. You see? It's like so the end and then they come like the first okay so they it's like the n comes more you can see it also from the shadow like the n comes more outside than the other ones and like the x the x uh, stays where it is and then just picks up later you see like everything is coming out like a lot and then it takes the X also and it goes back. Okay, so the thing is that these letters are actually quicker to come out. So if we had the N coming out starting from 10 to 19, then I suppose we have to make the other ones like at um, one frame later, I suppose, like at 11. Uh, let me go here. At 11, we make it zero. And then I would make it still at 90.5 um, and oopsie 0 0.5 I set the keyframe and then we go into uh, what is it 48 48 or 49 and we go to zero again what was it 48 or 49 48 okay so if we have a look at this now they, they come more or less together so I want to I want it to be so just deselect everything. I take this. Oh, no, from the E. Uh, I deselect everything. I take this frame and I bring it up just one frame after that. So it's a little, it's a little bit late. Like, do -do I think we can, mm -hmm. okay. So then we can make the same for the T. So the T was like the E was like 12, the T is like let's let's increase by two every time all right so it's like this is 12 so we make the t at 4t hmm? um, so zero instead of keyframe and we have bum bum and i actually want i want the e to come here like two frames later so we delay bum bum we delay just one Bum, bum, bum. and they go back together and okay so we have the t and we say the t okay you're here and then here you're like 0.5 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 0.5 bum so we have like and you see it's much quicker now, quicker now the t because it's the same as the e 90 20 but actually I want it to be, let me, so I think I will bring this also to 20. Dudunk. This also to 20. And so we're gonna change just the first um, when they come out. So this is 14. So this will, the E, will the F will be 16 when it's zero. What did I do? This zero? What? Bevel, what the fridge? So 16 at zero and at 20, right? 20 will be uh, 0.5. And then we make the same 18. It's like here. And we go into a zero. I to set the iframe. And I think it's not working like this because it will be like far too quick. Also because here we are like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we can make 19. It's just a matter of testing and doing it wrong and testing again. But anyway, and then the X, it should be like 2020. That's crazy. So we make it also like 19. 
I can tell already now that it's wrong, but I don't care because we have to. Uh, this is the process we have to. So let let's have a look at what we created. Popong, of course, uh, the <laughs> popong, the the <laughs> the latest one. They just pop out to to <laughs> way too quick. Dunk. I mean, the first one was are fine, but pop pop pop. Th why why are they popping out just so so slowly? I think I have to. Okay, we will do like sixteen. Then at seventy, we'll make this guy pop out. And then at 18, we make this guy pop out. And then um, we make this guy pop out. So let me save. Let's see like this. Ba -bong. Okay, that's much better. Ba -bong. Ba it is still too quick at the end. So what we could do also, just to fake it, because now w we're not doing it like super precise. But uh, of course, I would like to have it like kind of nice. Shpabong. Okay, so we can leave it like this, we can save. And of course what it's missing is that if we look at the first, we had like at frame, what was it, 48, we are back to zero. And so at 48, we are back to zero. Puck. And we are back to zero also here. Puck, puck, puck. And also for you. Puck, puck, puck. And also for you. Puck, 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 puck. And also for you. Pack, 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 pack. Okay. So now if we have a look at everything, it's like totong. Nice. So we have the totong. And then it disappears. And um, then what I would like to do, because since it's, let me show on the camera, what is happening here is like, let me disable the audio. It's like, popong. Then it goes back. And then it comes the, the 2D writings and the camera goes kind of away. So we have, uh, first of all, we can animate the camera itself. And you will know, uh, because when, when the red Netflix logo appears, then the camera seems to go a little bit um, away. And we know that the red logo appears more or less like at frame 48, let's say 48. So we can set the epsilon the y location is what we what's interesting us so we can set a keyframe to the y location and then just ever so slightly go like since the animation it's, it's finished at uh, 120 we could go 120 like we can move it to g and just a little bit let's see how this look like we save we go back and we play an animation. Ba -bang. Okay, we of course we cannot see it because <laughs> because we don't have anything to see. Um, so before we have to do this, and before that, we could um, take, for example, I would make like this. I would take all the letters. I would make a duplicate of it. I would then join them by pressing Control J, and uh, yes, let me go into Argolite mode. I want to delete the modifier so it's like a 2d uh, writings i will delete the keyframes because i don't need it i don't need it to move let me bring back everything else and then we go once it disappears i want the other one and so this has to be like slightly in front because i actually want to see it uh, what is it slightly in front but not too much in front that it produces light uh, shadows sorry so if we go into okay so i don't want that many shadows uh, being cast so i just really have to bring it back like this so it's a little bit it's fine and then of course we are going to um pure white was red was really weird and so i'm gonna change this to to do 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 to do do uh, red. Okay, so we we call this red. Nope, we call this red. And oh, we call this red. Thanks. And then um, since our oh, this is also fine. Okay, so now we could try to have a look at it. Like pop and so we can see we can move already the camera much better much more 
in the end like this go up and then I want it like let's make it like this and then and then and then and then and then, and then make another keyframe what was it here item make another keyframe here and so we can see that the camera actually moves moves like this like boom -bong. nice and um, after that uh, of course the only thing we have is that the writings is that uh, we don't want the the red logo to be at the beginning so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this red logo and we have to think how to um, hide it we could do for example a super easy trick trick uh, we know that it's like here it's fine that it appears so we can let me see it it's not possible to see it like from here it's not visible it's it's slightly visible because we added the uh, the um, the thing so since it will appear like for the first time at frame 45 so we could select the logo let me go actually here and we can set a position frame like on the y and the y sorry y is the italian word on the y we can press i and we have a frame and on the frame 44 we just bring it like way back like there and we press it like this so that the it jumps out when when we need it and so if we have a look to the animation and we disable the overlays and we play it ba now we have a super nice netflix animation um, we save this bam bam and then what we're going to do in order to export it as a uh, an animation on the output we're going to press here and we select a folder where we want to export it and then we simply go and into here we press this thing here it's already set to 120 frames and you press render animation and once it's ready you just uh, go up here into render you can go navigate to the folder but you can go here into view animation as said i already did this and this is what it looks like and we did completely from scratch with the, the netflix animation and so if you if it would be one client software you could totally say i could do this completely free with this amazing software that's blender and so thank you very much for following until here i hope that uh, it was pretty clear and um yeah links uh, files will be in the link in the description and i hope you see you next time Arrivederci.